Good morning, my name is Jacob Folger and um, I'm an artist sculptor and today we're going to make a fairy garden in this uh, hawking jar here that I picked up at a local department store for eight dollars and I thought that was a great deal because it's a pretty big one actually and uh, we have um, some uh, small pebbles for drainage to go in the bottom of the um, garden and we have uh, soil here a little bit of soil and uh, we have live moss and got a couple different kinds we have mood moss here and we have um, fern moss and we also have an air plant and then we have a number of different uh, kinds of stones here and some smaller ones here um, and we'll go ahead and get started I'm gonna make a little bit of room here try to make a little bit of room there we go just gonna put the pebbles now I recommend when you put the pebbles in the bottom that you kind of put them in by hand so they don't break the jar And you want like a couple inches in the bottom, like that. Now, uh, moss does not require soil, but if you're going to put some plants in, they will. And also, uh, soil will help bring uh, moisture to the moss. So, it's good to have. This is uh, organic potting soil. So... I'm just going to put that in the bottom, but you know what, I kind of have in mind to make like a little hill. So I'm going to start adding soil kind of to one side. Like this. Building it up. Okay. And then before I put my moss in, I think I'm going to put some stones in. I've got stone, this stone here, and I'm going to kind of stand it up on its end. Because I want to kind of create like a, a little mountain scene. So... Maybe another one here like that. And then I can I can put the moss in around it. Maybe one down here. And then I can work around that. I can put the uh, moss in around that. So I've got uh, i got a little bit of fern moss here. Now you can just tear this like that. You can also cut it with scissors and just lay it in like that. And I've got some of this uh, little mood, uh, pieces of mood moss here. And I'm just gonna kind of mix it in there. I've got a little piece here I want to put kind of behind these stones here. 
just kind of lay it in there again not really not really cramming it in but just laying it in around the stones even letting some of the tendrils kind of come up and climb the stones a little bit So it's, you know, a very natural look. Couple, couple different kinds of moss. So like uh, this, you can see this moss here is uh, a lot more, it's a lot darker than this, than the fern moss. So, um, you know, what that does, if you have like, darker and lighter the stones are uh, different colors and lighter um, what that does is it draws your eye from one place to another so it creates more interest Let's put some some smaller stones here and there I've got some even smaller stones here and I'm just gonna you know add a couple here and there around I'm just just landscape it here a little bit now one thing I haven't done yet which I thought would be fun is if I uh, actually made the fairy houses to go in it as a, after I made the garden um, so I know what I want then I make what I want as opposed to making everything beforehand I think I'm going to put a stone here a couple up in here Like that. Put this air plant in here. I'm just going to put it back behind the stone for now. Kind of work it in there. So now this is the uh, the garden so far. That's pretty good. So I think uh, I think what I want to do is I want to put a little house up top here, and then maybe one here and possibly one over here. So they're going to be pretty small houses. I'll push that out of the way. I get some polymer clay here. This is Sculpey Three Brand, and uh, it's what I use usually. And I oftentimes sculpt in black because the finishes look really good on the black clay. Now I do want to knead it and what that also does is it conditions the clay so that all the ingredients are mixed up inside of it. I'm going to take a little uh, bit of clay and roll it into a ball like that. And then I'm going to roll it into just a little bit of an ob oblong shape like that. I'm going to squeeze it on both sides two fingers on one side on two sides and two fingers on the other two sides when I squeeze it like that it forms like a little rectangular shape like that if I pinch the top a little bit it will create a peak so it looks like that I'm going to take another piece of clay, a small one like, like this here. I'm going to roll it into a noodle. And then squeeze it flat, but not like completely flat. Not so it's squished, but kind of flat shape like that. 
I'm going to place it on the peak of the house and squeeze it into place so it makes like a little roof like that. These are really simple little fairy houses that are very easy to make. Then I'm going to take <clears throat> another little piece of clay, just a little tiny piece like this. Roll it into a little oblong shape and this will be for the chimney. And I'll just press that in. Kind of flatten the top a little bit like that. And then I'll take the back uh, end of a paintbrush. And put a little hole in the top like that. I can take the same paintbrush and I can put it in a window here. And then I can hold the brush uh, end like this and make a little door. You can see it's just a really simple little process. Then what I can do is I can take some wire. This is uh, 18 gauge galvanized steel wire and cut off a couple inches. And stick it into the bottom of the house like that and now it's pinned and then when I put it into the garden it will stand up on its own now I want to put a little finish on it so I'm going to use uh, this product here called uh, Pearlex pigments and I'm going to use the color antique bronze I'm going to get a little bit on my finger like that and then I'm going to swirl it to kind of get it more subdued and then I'm just going to highlight the house like that. I do want it, for me, I want it to be an antique finish. I don't want it to be really bright and shiny. I want it to look old. And this mixed with the green of the moss and the stones will look really nice. Now I'm going to make a few more houses and I'll be right back. And then once you've got your houses made, uh, you can bake them. And if you look in the video description down below the video, you'll find... Uh, a tool and supply list uh, of all the things that we're using and uh, baking instructions for the clay as well. Um, look down there and follow those instructions and bake your houses. And then we'll come back and put them in our garden. Okay, we're going to put our little houses in the fairy garden. And I'm um, just going to just uh, set them in uh, to where you want them and then just Press, press them, the wire down in. You can adjust it. That one is kind of hard to see, I know. I'm going to try to get this one. This one might be a little bit easier to see. So it's going to, I'm going to put it, I think, right here. Yeah, these are really, this is really kind of a cute little design. I, I you know, I tend to do my gardens a little bit more um, simple you know and I like them that way and that's what it looks like so a couple things um, this this is a hawking jar and this particular lid doesn't have any kind of rubber seal on it so while it would be enclosed it will be enclosed it you still want to check the moss for to make sure it's moist and stays moist um, because it's not you know a really tight seal so just keep that in mind if you have a jar like this. Um, some some jars have a rubber seal and you know it would be pretty much airtight, but this one won't be. 
Um, as far as watering goes, uh, what I do is I use a little mister, um, just a water bottle like this that has a misting um, spray on the sprayer on the end. And I just uh, give it a misting, but I'm not looking to like get it, you know, soaking, soaking wet. I want to keep the mo moss moist, but not soaking wet. Uh, another thing is, um, so you would check it, if I had a, a hockey, you know, hocking jar like this with that type of lid without a seal in it, I'll probably check the moss once a week. I'll stick my hand down in there and make sure it's uh, uh, moist. And if it isn't, then I'll give it, give it some, uh, spray it a little bit. Now, um, as far as sunlight goes, you're going to want bright sunlight, but you don't want to stick it like directly in the sun. So, um, because it could get really hot inside here and hurt the moss for one thing, but also moss uh, likes um, shade and, and not a lot of, um, you know, direct sunlight. So just keep that in mind. It's really a fun and easy project once you have all your elements. And I will put a uh, source for the moss in the uh, video description under the tool, tool and supply list. I'll put a couple places where you can buy moss online. Now, if you like this kind of content, please subscribe to my channel. I have many videos along these lines. And also, feel free to share the video with your friends and on any social media you are on. Leave me a comment or question in the comment section and uh, give the video a thumbs up. Let me know that you liked it. And thank you so much for watching and have a great day.